Hello, welcome to Putramook. This video provides you a walkthrough on how to use Putramook as a student. First, please go to putramook.upm.udemy. Here you can see the list of the courses. For you to access the courses, you are requested to uh, first log in. So this is the list of the courses. You can browse through the courses or you can search here. Let me show you how to log in. Please click login at the top right in the page and then enter your username and password and just click login. If you've forgotten your username or password, you can please click here and then follow through the instruction. Right, now I am logged in. I can go to my dashboard and see, oh, these are the list of, um, I only have one course that I have registered. Today, I want to enroll in a new course that relates to COVID-19. So I just type COVID-19 and search. Let's say that you have found the course that you want to um, enter. So just click enter this course. And here you are requested to put your enrollment key. Yeah, there is this re uh, require login error, which means that you have to enter the enrollment key. So enter the enrollment key that I believe should have been given to you. Uh, I will show after this how to enroll in a course that doesn't have a key. So this enrollment key you need to get from the uh, person in charge for that course. I have entered the enrollment key. Now the system is going to let me in. Okay, now I'm already logged in into the course. So this is how the course looks like. Um, note to you that there are many kinds of um, layout in a course. So this is how it looks like in this course. You can always go to the course dashboard. See how the course looks like. This is the complete uh, display for this course. You can always uh, choose and enroll if you wish to go. Uh, the sidebar on the left allows you to flick through the content quickly. Otherwise, you can go through uh, the path that is provided in this course. Right. Um, here, under my courses, you would be able to see the list of the courses that you have enrolled. I want to show you now an uh, example of other courses. So I can go to uh, my courses and show how it looks like in the other course. So this is in, uh, the example of the uh, other course. So these are all clickable. So you can uh, click inside, right? Under your name here, you can set some uh, preferences. Just click your name on the top right. Then you would be able to uh, access uh, the menu. Okay, so when you click your name at the top, you can see uh, this. So you can click preferences. It's the same in any course that you go. You can click on your name. You can uh, open two courses uh, at the same time in different tabs. So at the top here, you can see several menus that you can access, messages, preferences, grades, and profile. If you click profile, you uh, would be able to update your personal information in this edit profile. You are also uh, encouraged to um, upload your picture there. Here under course profiles, you would be able to get the list of the course that you have registered. Under preferences, if you click the menu preferences, you would be able to uh, access and change all this information. Let's say now you want to use the function messages. This function messages allows you to be able to communicate with people within this platform. So you can search uh, message or you can find contacts. So let's say you want to find uh, people that who are, have registered in the course. So you, uh, this is an example of course. So just input any uh, name and then click the name of the course. The list of the uh, users would be 
listed for you. Close. Okay. So when you press enter, uh, the list of the, uh, the name of the person would be listed for you. Let's say this one. So it will take time to load. And then let's say you want to communicate with this person. Just click the name. And then you can write message to this person. Right. You can also use this function, uh, which is to uh, check notification. Let's say you have messages from others. You can check from here notification. You can use also messages here for uh, similar to the, the one that I've shown. Here is uh, for quicker uh, messaging. Right. Now let's go into the course again. When you are in the course, usually uh, there are several uh, things that are required for you to perform as a student. If you don't like on the uh, left side, you can just click hide sidebar. So here, uh, typically there are many modules that you uh, have to follow through. Let's say this one. Uh, you can play the video and you can watch it inside here. And then uh, this shows ice breaking forum. So you can click this ice breaking forum. And uh, this is where you can provide uh, your information. So you just follow what is the instruction given to you. Let's use this forum to get to know each other. Introduce yourself. So this is the instruction given to you. Um, you can reply uh, to this uh, post by clicking this ice breaking. And here, click reply. And here you can uh, discuss anything. Hello, my name is Padlina. In my area, uh, the number of COVID-19 cases is very low. Right, this is an example. And here you can provide attachment of your, uh, maybe a picture or anything that you wish. Let's say I choose something here. Here you can choose upload a file and here you can choose a file. Let's say I want to take something uh, from here. Uh, I don't have much pictures saved here. Um, just let's say I have one picture or I can use a URL downloader to include any uh, picture. Say here, smile. So this one, and then I can take the URL. So just take any URL that you wish. Then you just click here. Then I say this one, and I want to right click, copy the image address, and here you can provide the URL. And click download. It will automatically. Uh, provide to you the uh, image and appear here and then you can post to forum so in the forum you can reply to uh, people and people can also reply to you then go back to the course by clicking the course name you can now proceed to the other activities let's say i want to see what's there in the second module here you can go through right so this is to give you quick, uh, this is an infographic to give you a quick understanding of uh, this chapter and there is this um, content of the course for you. And then, oh, there is the game. So you can click the game and then you can do the activity here. Oh, you're asked to find the pandemic. So find the word pandemic. Can you find it? I see one there. Oh, I see there. Washing hand. That's correct. No, wash hands. Yeah, got that correct. Then you can press check and then you can check. So basically, this is how you can use the program book. Um, so you can search any more courses that you wish and try to enroll in the courses. Thank you.